Today is an all right day. Oh, look at it, it looks so good. And we are gonna hear some loud, loud cars. It's always dark when you get a message from Rana. My friend Rana has a pretty sick car collection. He is in town and he just sent me a message. It's already dark, it's kind of late in the evening. But he is in town and he was like, do you want to come check out one of the cars? So of course, that's what we're going to go do. When you're driving a V10, or at least attempting to drive a V10 around town, very, very quickly end up right there in that little cheeky red zone. So we're going to fix that. So in the R8, when you want to fuel up, you need to press this little button here. And then that opens. There you go, you've seen it. Fuel filler cap back there. That's still a little bit dirty, look at that. See right there? Still a few water spots. I do think it looks good in this color though, but the wrap is coming soon. Hopefully this fueling is gonna stop soon as well. You know your car probably drinks a little bit too much when you get to the maximum of the fuel pump and it doesn't feel like it's anywhere near full. Okay, well, that's that. Ooh. boys we got Rana and then we've been the SVJ in front we're going to talk about the exhaust in a bit but then we've also got a really nice Porsche Turbo S and we're obviously in the R8 right here yeah. pretty cool right so you guys know everything there is to know about the R8 we've come here and we've just pulled over quickly now I'm going to show you a little bit of that Aventador something new has popped up on that but in the meantime Alex as you guys just saw has just arrived in this really nice Rolls Royce Dawn oh hello it's what are you doing here. in a Rolls this is a complete coincidence <laughs> I had no idea you were going to be here. Well, hello. A very nice ride. Awesome, awesome car. Suicide doors, always very cool. Massive doors, so heavy, so chunky. And then the leather, which is just beautiful. The quality of this leather is insane. And then I love these super thick carpets. Literally feels like you're stepping on a cloud in this car. It is so, so cool. And then we've got the red interior, contrast red interior with the contrast white stitching. The white little clock here, black piano, black finish, and then the white dashboard as well. Really, really nice. And it's even just so quiet in here because of the thick windows. Awesome. Now you do have a button here which you would press if you're in the car to close the door, but we're just gonna close it manually because we're outside. It's got the optional rims, this one. Don't know how Carms has ended up in this, but very, very cool. Spirit of Ecstasy right there. Oh, it's just so classy. These have really grown on me. Appreciation Masters, because they're very, very expensive when they come out, but then it goes down quite quickly. Now, that's the Aventador, which we will talk about in a sec, because it's had something changed on it, which is really cool. But then there's also this Porsche Turbo. So this is a 991.2, so second gen. Easiest ways to tell are the lights around front, the double uh, front LED running running daytime lights and then round back also the rear lights are split in two I like all the black finishes on this so the black Porsche writing black details here and then the black air intakes really really nice so we've got the key which with Porsches is in the shape of a 911 really nice same key on all of them and then if you open it the interior spec on this is strong we have a beautiful carbon all over the place the white dashboard and the 918 inspired steering wheel all in leather sports seats and then carbon all over the place and inside it is so nice oh and just as such oh i like the red seat belts as well such a nice smell in here as well with all the leather and um, really really beautiful that is the view when you're driving with the r8 over there now then so that's the porsche um which is lovely but then the aventador so the main change on this because we've seen this car a bunch of times before is the exhaust so on the tips you cannot tell but it's actually got a balboni exhaust so valentino balboni the legendary lamborghini test driver has developed his own exhaust company and so effectively the biggest problem that you usually have with SVJs because of the new regulations is that they don't sound that good to be honest well they sound good but they don't sound as good as like SVs or Aventador S's sounded so this exhaust is very expensive very rare but it makes the car sound like an SV effectively so I won't walk you through the spec too much on this one because I've already done a lot of videos on it and I don't want to bore you I mean it's got the carbon all over the place but if we go in open this door right here beautiful carbon full carbon door sill and then when you jump in these, uh, you can see that there is the classic Aventador SV hardcore Lamborghini styled carbon little details down there. Well, it always feels really weird having like a really hard carpet down there. And you're greeted by this beautiful dashboard. And then of course carbon and that starter button. So let's just start it up so you can hear it at idle because it is pretty nuts. So foot on the brake then you press this. Whoa. And then now, if we hop out, you'll be able to hear that it's much louder than a standard Aventador. Now, usually, an SVJ is pretty quiet on idle, but 
than this now sounds so good. Proper, proper Ventador sound. I'm gonna switch that off before we piss the neighbors off and hopefully we'll be able to go for a little drive in this. I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, that has made a big change, the Balboni exhaust. Oh, what an epic four car lineup, I think. I'm definitely in by a country mile the cheapest car with the R8 there, but that's okay. That's all right. I think it's probably the rarest one here though. Oh, so, so cool. We're in the Aventador SVJ now. Of course, I'm going to put all of Rana's details down below. But it was just so that we could hear this beautiful Balboni exhaust. I'm saying it a lot but my biggest disappointment with the svj was the exhaust sound so now being able to have a sound like this completely changes the car wow that porsche is beautiful as well i love the white rims crackles this car makes are unreal god i love the way that porsche looks with those wheels it's so cool so so cool. and this interior i mean all the details <laughs> ciao ciao every time i get into an aventador it just Reminds me how special these cars are because Aventador's like one step over supercars. It's kind of like between a supercar and a hypercar, I feel at least. Especially in SVJ form, especially with an exhaust like this. And like, I, you know, I just feel so special and I feel so lucky every time I'm in a car like this. Like, when I was 13, 14, if I go out spotting, if I just saw one of these cars drive past, it was worth it. You know, the hours of spending the time in the street and stuff were all worth it if I saw a car like this. So now being able to occasionally ride in them and see them just need to constantly remember how fortunate uh, I am and how amazing it is to be able to bring you guys alongside as well. So yeah, massive thanks Rana, massive thanks everyone else and massive thanks to you for watching. But, oh, that exhaust, look at this. These seats on the other hand, these are pretty, uh, well comfortable is not the word you'd use to describe them. Full carbon, as you can see there. Yeah, pretty intense, but pretty cool. Tell you what, this car certainly makes much more noise than that Prius. Made it home. Ah, thank you, R8. Thank you very much. Another great day out with the R8 and great to see Ron and everyone. I just want to say thank you guys for watching. Give it a thumbs up. Really helps the channel if you enjoyed the video. And I will see you again very, very soon. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.